welcome back to the garage again. <laughs> back on the coffee van, episode 10. What a busy week we've had again, getting this sorted out. Need to say thanks to Mount for helping me out on this one. He's been in, uh, yeah, helped me lift and muck about. So yeah, it's really good, really good stuff. We're doing some trimmings all the way around the hatch now. This is gonna be in two episodes. We've got this first one, which is setting everything up, getting all the trims in, getting the snail hinge all lined up in position and bolted and riveted to the side of the van. Then the second episode, which will be episode 11, will be actually manufacturing the flap itself and attaching it to the hinge. So yes, get stuck into this one and I hope you enjoy it. Right, so we've got the snail hinge and you can see that. That'll open up like that. It's got the gully in the top. So we'll separate those two. Picked this up off of eBay, it was about £160. We've just got to take a bit of this material out the back so that it fits inside the slot. Um, is that pen there? Pencil it is. <laughs> oh, it's on the bloody fridge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he'd lose his head if it weren't screwed on. Yeah. So, Roman, to line this hinge up, we need a bit of overhang either end so that the water when it pours down the hinge itself will That's will run away the, uh, without coming nice inside the van. End, nice overhang that end, doesn't it? Mm. How much do we go? Do we go a bit more? Oh, that gap there. Possibly a little bit more this way. I'm just thinking of that. What are you doing, Matt? We're going to fill it anyway, aren't we? Okay, go on. Mark, mark that up on the back then. And then the bit we're going to remove is that bit on the end, isn't it? So from that there. Just from that, that line there. Right there. You're right here, yeah, just give us a little bit of leeway. And then we've got to cut away that bit, ain't we? Let's scribble on that. Yeah, I like a bit of leeway. Yeah. The more the better. <laughs> we might dodgy yeah, cut him with a saw. Because it's going to be mm. like that, and then that'll sit in there, then, won't it? Yeah. So same with the, with the other side. My theory is if I give Mount a pen and let him do the drawing, if it goes wrong, I can blame him. <laughs> That's what father-in-laws are for, isn't it? Oh, I don't like chopping this. Yeah. Now this is a bit of a tricky one. The um, the hinge is such a peculiar shape. It's really hard to hold it and get it flat. Um, and I don't want to get the saw hitting the top of it and marking it. So it's, you've got to go at it a bit careful. I'd love to have got it into the um, the little um, circular saw there, but it, it just yeah, it just won't go. It can't get it in there. But this is working. It, it is going through it. But it, say I'm just trying to hold it away so it doesn't it doesn't mark up the front of that that hinge. Again, if I come down this side, just get it started and hopefully not have it wrapping around too much. This. Milwaukee Hacksaw is a, it's a beauty, it really is good. I've got a nice new blade in there as well. And this is like, um, it's a surprisingly strong aluminium, this hinge. It's, uh, it, it's really tough. It's, it's, it's obviously got some, uh, some kind of billet in there. So I'm just worrying about it catching it and marking that underside. So I'm trying to hold it away and just work it down now. Just floating it, floating it along. Trying to keep it away from that sort of rounded edge of the hinge. I can get a reasonable kick down here. I can, uh, I can sand it flat, and it's going through it quite nicely now. Look. Once I've cut this back edge out of it, I'll then have that top, that top lip will sit nice and flush to the side of the van, which will then allow the water to run right the way down the, uh, right down the edges. My head's in the way, but we need to dial it. We're getting down there now. And I might as well use the hole of this hinge. I could have put it short, but I really want that flap to be as big as possible. It just gives us more coverage in the in the winter. And this is the little Milwaukee sander polisher. I'll put links in the description for all of this stuff. Um, got these nice little grit discs on the end of it. And it will soon whiz that down and make that nice and smooth. You can see it taking that material off quite quickly. It is a cracking bit of kit. 
and I might just finish it off with the uh, the file just to square that up a little bit so slightly out I have to thank Mount for coming and helping me out on this one like I say Mount's my father-in-law but um, back in the day I was his apprentice when I first started work when I was 16 I'll trust him out. I'll trust you. You can use red line if I blame you if it's on. <laughs> I'll just tell your camera that <laughs> I advise you to double check it. <laughs> Here we go, round two. So this is the other end. This one is slightly more awkward though because it's obviously back to front. And I'm struggling to get my saw in again. Just be patient. I'm just going to get in there and do it. I'll hold it away and uh, work my way through it so it don't get a bounce on it. It's looking like it's going through quite nicely. Same again, try it this way. Oh, if I can hold it in and get it going without working about. Yeah, here we go. Look. Not cooked through butter. Absolute delight. That's got rid of that. We'll just get the file on it again, just square it up a little bit, just a little bit of tidying, and then. Uh... Oh, will it fit? It's got to be chopped the same width as the bottom. It's the it's that what sits the problem. Is this it ain't straight? Yeah. This is the problem. The best of it shows the van up with being cut high. The issue we've got here, the van side isn't isn't level. Um, it's had a new panel replaced at some point in its life, and. Uh, it's the seam that was straight down the middle it's sitting away so it's sticking out either end I don't you can see that now so I'm just trying to work out which which end we can pack out both ends are going to need packing out but obviously how much do we need to put at the front and how much do we need to put at the back to try and get it right if I just riveted this straight to the side of the van now you won't be able to slide the other part of the hinge in and you won't be able to open the door it's got to be dead straight without any kind of like kink in it. Now, if you watched the previous video, you would have seen us putting the box section on the inside of that hatch, which this is going to be riveted through the side of the van and into the box section on the other side to hold it all nice and tight. That's going to be a seriously big. Remember, if it's hanging long enough for that, oh. No. <laughs> he's ribbing me again he's ribbing me I bought a load of rivets I bought some stainless steel rivets from uh, the local factors and uh, yeah I got my pants pulled down a little bit I think but uh, <laughs> I ended up paying 70 quid for two boxes of rivets <laughs> Now I'm faffing again. I'm faffing like I do. I've got to make a decision. So come on, make your mind up. Let's get that rivet through the middle and get this packed out and get it put on again. We've got some trims to come down the sides. And that will hold it out a bit more as well. So, yeah, come on, make your mind up. Let's get this going on. Let's get it done. Really close, you know, it is yeah. close that end, so we can't, we can't take any more. Even Mount's getting fed up, look. They're thinking, what's this? Well, come on, get on with it. Get a rivet in there. My arm's aching. Let's, uh... So we've got one piece with a rounded edge on it to build up this side. And that recess there. And we've got another one that hopefully is going to fit. Ooh. Pretty sure. 
Yeah. Guess who's cut the trim wrong? Yeah, yeah it was me. Wrong, yeah. <laughs> the so what this is for? This is this is hidden. It's all it's all behind a, an L trim that's coming on the bottom there. If we ground the bottom, if we took the fight like the whatever it is, three mil out the bottom of that, then it'd come down, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, it will. Come on, get on with it. But what a job this is going to be. This is three mil aluminium. I've cut that straight down there, and I need to cut another couple of mil off the bottom of it. What a job! What a job! And the saw blade is too thick really to do it. So we're going to have to grind it back. So I've set Malk on the task. I'm going to drink tea while he does it. We've got the big sander there with a big hot, thick grit disc in it. I'm just keep coming up and down there, and I've got to take like say two mil out of it. What a palaver! Fancy cutting it wrong in the first place. And it took forever. It took forever to grind that down. <laughs> it's an odd life, though. Look. So after a lot of grinding, managed to take the edge on this down. It was really hard to cut through. The saw kept jamming up, but the uh, the grinder's done a decent job on it. Hopefully now. So uh, let's see if we're about there. Yeah, it's not bad, is it? That's not bad at all. Cool. Try and get another mill off if you want. A bit more. Just another mill all the way along. It's pretty. It's pretty close, isn't it? Yeah. And then now that's ground off, we're about there with that look. Beautiful. Whew, that took some gain down like that, did? Because it was such a thin edge on it. Trying to cut it, couldn't get the saw through it, so the grinder was the way, and it's um finally took some material off of that. It took about what you're at half hour. But it took us half hour to grind this bloody one piece of metal down. Right, next bit next bit to be done. So we're going to do these L trims now that are going to sit on the outside of the hatch edges to make it all nice and smooth and lovely. Just need to cut a little piece out of it so that it fits nice and flush. So we're going to have one coming down either side and, and a piece all the way along the bottom. And this is going to cover those spaces that we've um, just made. The spaces that we needed though to beef it all up. So we just nick the ends out of that so you can see we've got a bit of a shape going on and hopefully now that will fit into the the recess in the side. Something along those lines. Put this close. Sweet off the top. Just a tiny bit out of that. Got a little bit of shape there. Put that pen. Yeah, move the camera a little bit. Little bit there you go. There. You can see it now. Just a small piece out of the guttering where it's not quite level. It's a little bit of weld there. These trims will be seam sealed on and then riveted through the side of the van as well. So they'll be really solid once they're um, all put into place. Tiny, tiny bit out of that. Yeah, third time looker. Come on, it's got to be right this time. Yeah, it looks nice. Smart, huh? Yeah. One. <laughs> that is quite a straight, it's a nice straight line, isn't it? Yeah. That's not bad, that one. Okay. Same sailor in hand. Yeah. And obviously the shape of the van here, we've got to build it slightly and we're going to fit three different strips of aluminium down here to make all that level down that side. So we'll just keep building this up and then we'll rivet the whole lot through the side of the van and it'll be as strong as, well, as, strong as it can possibly be really. I think the um, adding the silicon could be uh, slightly better though, look. Look at him go. It's not silicon, it's seam sealer, this one. Then we can put his piece of metal in. We'll get that in there to fill that little recess. We'll get that in place and then we'll do the same thing again. 
with another one, another layer down there, and then we'll build it up now with the second trim on there. Get that in. And then we'll have these ones that we cut to level it all up again. Let's go for the next bit, which is that one. Isn't it? No, this bit. No, this one. Yeah. <laughs> again, a bit more seam sealant down there. And we'll have that in. Another strip of 3mm aluminium in there to level that little recess up. Because this piece of trim that we're going to put over the top of that one, that it'll be an L trim that's going to go over that that will fit flush to the worktop once that's um, in. Now it's the um, that down piece, isn't it? That down piece. And it'll also hold the, the serving the flap, the, the hatch um, shelf. So we'll carry on building this up, get some of this um, sealant in there, make sure it's all nice and watertight, don't know gaps really. I think that top bit needs a good lot there, doesn't it? Yeah. Because it is just a tiny shape to it at the top, it's not completely flat. Don't push too much of that on. Are you sure you need it there? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. That wind's getting up, you can hear it blowing the tarpaulin sheet. Oh, look at that, cut to perfection. Oh, oh dearie me. You put too much gob at the bottom, look, I didn't need that bit there. Not yet, anyway. That squared off there with that other bit, isn't it? Bollocks. I'll get that off. Yeah, blue roll to the rescue. I need to wipe that off because obviously I don't want that, that to go hard just yet because we've not put this bottom trim on. The next bottom trim can't be fastened totally securely yet because we've got to put the work tops in first. So I can cut it all and get it ready, but we can't actually. Um, fully fasten that in just yet but at least that seems that seems to come off that's nice and clean now snail hinge to the ready okay let's get it on so I blob gobber all the way along so you can see at the top there where I've got all those clamps we've got some there's three mil a three mil strip on the right hand side there's another three mil on the left hand side and then the bit in the middle is just the bodywork so, of the van. The on it, yeah. So that is to try and straighten up this whole level of the, the side of the van. So that's the same sealant applied all the way along the inside of this hinge look. You can see it on there. Ready to go up now and hold it into place. So we've got to get some clamps on this pretty quick because uh, everything at the top there is just seam sealer. It will slowly sort of slide down if we're not careful. So we get the clamps on it, get it all clamped up and then uh, get some rivets through it. See it sliding down, look. Well, they're all through, low all the way along, really. Yeah, up we go. Not grip, no, it hasn't. Well, let's get a banger. Get a rivet in it, let's come on. Some, uh, rivets in it. I think it's got to be the one, does it? Is that underneath one's first, probably, right, to get so that it pulls this yeah, down? Yeah, I do, yeah. And then, and then we'll go up. Yeah. Yeah, just hold that, just up this side, slip and slip sliding down a bit. Just hold it there, shouldn't it? That's it. So we get the drill out and we're drilling straight up now through the hinge and up into the box section that I put on the inside. That's pulled right in into yeah. And it's my chance to use this beautiful Milwaukee rivet gun. <laughs> New purchase. I'm going to do a full review on this. Oh my god! Oh, that is so good. That is so good. Flip it out. Get a more distance. 
the, the, these ones under here, we're not too fussy, are we? Not the, not, not the underneath ones. Well, should sure. we do, well, do a, yeah, go on, let's mark them out 12. Um, we want that black thing, would we? Oh, you're getting up ticket on me now, Mal. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is the engineering you're coming out, isn't it? Like, you want to get it right now, don't you? I'll get worse come to the end of the day. I'm like, oh, just slap it in here, slap it in there. It's like, terrible, isn't it? Then you look at it after you go, oh, I wish I'd done that properly. Uh, right, so that's. I can't see it. Oh. What are we doing? Like, going every, what, every. 12 inches. Yeah. Old school, so, 12 yeah. inches. <laughs> Nine millimetres round here. Got you, you? Got you a little bit. You want to get up with that one now? You love that, don't you? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, them times when these would be so hard to pull up as well. It's hard, you'd be straining. You'd be straining, pulling them up. The wincy. The wincy pulling them up out. Yeah. You want to I was going to bring the what's it ones, but they'd be too long. Them concertina ones. I thought about that. I don't know if you got. <laughs> but even there, it's dangerous, ain't it? Ten fingers. Oh, is it actually going to go into the box section? Now this one's going to take some drilling, it's going through about three layers of stuff through the inside of the box section and through the side of the van and the, the hinge as well so um, yeah look at it, it's really yeah, taking some Finally there's only one thing to, to do. I'll stick one in the same round. Oh, look nice, it did. Do you know what? It doesn't seem to be, um, the bow doesn't seem to be causing any issues now, does it? Yeah. Oh, is that because we clamped it, I think? Can't yeah. tell. We'll do all this and then we'll go and push it in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it on. <laughs> I think... Wait, well, get that do we, do we slide place. and then slide it in? Huh? And then slide the other bit in the hinge, just to make well, sure it goes in? Yeah, because... And from there to there, yeah. it's right down. But it, this is up and that's up, so I think it's. I don't think you need to pull that up too far. I think you need to like yes. just a touch and then do it where it is because it's going to be able to go like that. Pull it, pull it on actually because because we've got them like three mil plates. Oh, actually yeah. that one's just. Oh yeah, because that's where the plate ends. If we pull it there, it's going to be distorted, isn't it? I think let's get the other let's get the other bit slid into it as well. Uh, let's let's. Do you want to get the end? Let's get on, let's get moving, let's get some of these drills through. Rivet, drill, rivet. Yeah, because I think can... leave I think leave them till it's gone off. Yeah, well because yeah. I'll come back I'll come back to yeah. we can do that one, but not not that one. Yeah. So if we go with go with the this one, yeah, one the under pull the under puller. This is the reason we've got a bit of seam sealant behind there, so the seam sealant will eventually set hard and, and hold that all in line. If I rivet this straight through the side, it will pull it and distort it. So um, we've just got to be a bit wary of where we're putting these rivets at the minute until the seam seal is completely dried. There's plenty here holding it all in place now. You 
Well, you're mucky. You got yeah, mucky hands. Because no, I'm still got a bit of. Oh, he ain't touching my new rivet gun with a bit of seam sealer on his hands. I don't want none of that on there, do we? This rivet gun has got so much power, it's, it's absolutely amazing, it really is. And just Banging all these through, can you imagine doing it by hand, how hard it would be? These are stainless steel rivets, they're so hard to pull through with a normal rivet gun, yet this thing just bangs them off. So far so good, I'm well pleased with it. That's lovely, look at it, solid as a rock. No, that's why I'm just looking at that side. You don't, you don't notice it, do no, you? It's actually running off the edge of the van now. Yeah, it? it is, yeah. That's what we're looking at on here. You want to see something funny? Watch my face in a minute. The ultimate Ooh, confusion. That's beautiful. That's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. It's like... Oh, it's there, no, it's good. Yeah. It's, it is there, look. Yeah. Hang on a minute. What's going on here? Why is that sticking out so far, then? Well, the, this way, you mean? Look at the worry. The worry on his face, look. He's done something wrong. What have you done? <laughs> Nothing that a cup of tea and a good thing won't sort out. So we've got the, the hinge in there, we've just got to mark out these two sections and cut that out so that the it will, it will fold in nice and flush. So let's get the saw on it again and chop those out. We've marked them up, look. Yeah, so I completely forgot we've got to cut this piece out as well on this second part of the snail hinge. And obviously once that's, once that's out then everything will fit and... Uh, It'll be nice and flush. Get those sanded back, good sanding, get them nice and smooth like we did the other side. And then we can try it again. Just gotta watch the paintwork sliding this in. That piece there, look, he's ready to gouge a big chunk out of it. But no, we managed to get it in okay. And now that should drop right round, ready for the flap to be made in. Yeah. yeah. Look at that. Riveted into place. Now we need to just try and make sure it's alright, look. Yeah, there we go. Give it a few wiggles. Whew, right then. Get the flap attached. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Really interesting stuff. And that side of the van just wasn't level. It just that bit of a kink gave us all sorts of problems. But we overcame it with the spacing and making those those extra pieces and putting it all in. Um, so, yeah, all good. All done. So stick with us. Next episode is making the flap. Um, and I hope you enjoy it. So, yeah, once again, thanks for uh, sticking with us. Thanks for watching. Please drop me a thumbs up. Any old comments, love your comments, like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next episode.